show you guys how to make your own face powder. Um, I don't know if you'd want to use it as foundation, but I use it more as a face powder for my oily skin. Um, so make sure you have finely ground oats. This isn't super fine, but it's just me and I'm just showing you guys. So make sure it's fine if you're doing it yourself. And then you want a quarter cup or whatever. You can eyeball it for yourself of air root starch. I'd have more air root starch than I would oats. And we will combine those. And then I have about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. I might not use all of it. Um, cinnamon's pretty good for your skin. All of the stuff's good for your skin. And the arrowroot starch and oatmeal are very... Well, the oatmeal's pretty anti-inflammatory as well, but these both help with oily skin. Um, you could add like essential oils to this or like maybe grapeseed oil if you wanted, but I don't want to do that. I've used lavender oil on this before and I just find it gets a little uh, clumpy over time. Maybe I don't use it fast enough, but it's just not my favorite. So I'm going to put in the oats first before the cinnamon. Uh, hopefully I don't spill everywhere. I'm just going to use this sanitary, make sure everything's clean because it's going on your face. I will get a lid for this later. I mean, I should get a lid for it now and just shake it. I'm just going to stir it. See? Now you could like honestly use arrowroot starch on its own. I've done that. Uh, many times when I'm too lazy to do this if I've ran out. I might not use all of this. There's a little bit left. I'll put this on my smoothie tomorrow or oatmeal if I don't use it all, but we'll see. If you want more color, I would add more cinnamon. So it's not so like white, but like it doesn't matter once the air root starch is like on your face and like as long as you spread it out, I am gonna use this. As long as you like spread it out, you're good. I wouldn't worry. My hands are clean. Um yeah. I only used half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could use like quarter a teaspoon. Obviously, you can use whatever you want. Um, sometimes people get like a tingling sensation with cinnamon though, so that's why I'm saying like, maybe don't use that much. Yeah, that's honestly it. Um, I'm gonna put a lid on this. Sorry the lighting's bad, but you guys should try it out and let me know what you think. I find it is pretty amazing in controlling my oily skin. And I have pretty oily skin. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see y'all soon. Hope this helps. Peace.